Here we go. Finally, not another productivity tool out there, but a tool to control them all. And that's something that was really missing. And what you see here is my personal productivity system end to end. It just reflects everything that is going on inside my productivity system just simply by laying out the productivity tools that I use on this tool stack. And you can do so too, and you will get deep inside. And that's what I will show you in this video, how to do this today. All right, here I'm on a demo account and I will show you what this is all about and why this is such a huge thing for so many people struggling, switching productivity tools, testing all these tools, having scattered information, scattered actions and all these things. That's where everything comes together in this one simple Venn diagram that you see here. And I let me quickly explain what this is all about. And you will see it's a lot simpler than it looks like. So you see here, this the green circle represents PKM, personal knowledge management. The pink area is personal task management. The blue area is business project management. And the yellow area is business knowledge management. And we can just focus by switching down here on the individual parts, because this one represents our personal life. This one represents our business life. Here we go for just information and here we go just for action. So let's focus on our personal life first. PKM, most of you are there using PKM tools and task management to become more productive and get things done. So how does this work? Well, we open up the side panel and here I simply search for anything. I can search for tick tick, for example, on my map you saw to do is think about all the tools that come to mind that you're using on a daily basis. And you will be surprised how many you are actually using every day. So let's say you're using Outlook, you're using a Microsoft Calendar, right? For PKM, maybe you're using Obsidian in combination with Heptabase and Apple Notes. Who knows, right? That's what we see a lot with all these PKM tools that people use too many. So now we have a bunch of tools here already. And all we need to do now is just drag them into the right position. So tick, tick, what you're using it for. Now you think it through your inbox here and think, what am I using these tools for? So tick, tick, you're using for task management. Maybe you even store information in there. You can move it just in the center. So what happens in the back end? You see, while I'm drag dragging, there are these batches coming up and they indicate the overlap, what this is representing now. So the overlap, if I place it here, the tool is PKM and PPM. And when you click on the tool and open up the tool card, you see there's a lot more information going on that you can now fill out. But what you first see is here's the overlap, the PKM and PPM area. And because we placed it on these core positions, we are now able to select our secondary categories of the tool. So let me just move this down to task management and I open it up. Now you see it's just PPM and now it just shows me the secondary categories of PPM area. And all these categories are based on the ICOR methodology. What is ICOR? Well, it just defines everything that you use on a daily basis already, like tasks, projects, here, calendar and so on, and give it a proper definition. And that's why when you click on, for example, you're using it for tasks and speedies. Speedies are just tasks less than 15 minutes. You will see what this means in a moment, what impact it will have to do this. Tick, tick, I'm not sure, is it $12 per month or something? You can enter your price here and you will see this will be worth entering too. And here you can select a platform that you're using it on. Maybe you're just using it in a browser and maybe you're also using it on a smartphone, okay? on your iPhone. And now we have filled out everything that we can do. Here we have a field called integration level. And here you can select, that's the only rating that you can have as a user. You can set, I'm testing. So you're testing the tools. You use this, but you're looking for an alternative for this tool or you integrated it. So let's say you deeply integrated TickTick, -tick, you're happy with TickTick. -tick. You can write down, I like it because, right? And then I don't like it. And then you save these things and there you go. Now you even have pros and cons. And you saw it maybe quickly here on top, there is a description of the tool and you know, how it's ranking amongst the other members. So 13% of all our members are using TickTick too. And here we can open up the community sidebar that now gives you insights in how the community is using TickTick. We have currently, while I'm recording this, we just opened doors and uh, you see four others are using TickTick so far. And we have 52 members in there who laid out their tools. That's the whole point. 
the whole platform is community driven. This means by simply laying out the way you are using the tool and getting now the insight how you use this tool, you will also give the data to tell others how you use the tool. This is huge. If you go to comparison platforms like Tool Finder or GetApp, they just present you tools either as featured because they are sponsored or just by interpreting it as an individual. You will never know how all the different users are using these tools. So in the end, they just list all the features that the tool provider provides. And this doesn't tell you anything because most of them claim that they can do it all. So you will find always like ClickUp and Notion that they can do all the things like project management, note-taking, personal knowledge, management, all these things. But in reality, that's not the truth. And that's why we decided we build it this way instead of feeding the data in. The community will build it themselves. And that's why this is only for our members. So we really get high quality data from our busy professionals to see how people are using it. Because in the end, when we go now to find tools here, you see now all the tools, 52 Paperless Movement members are in. They already added 181 tools. And that's something you can easily do. If there's any tool not available, let's say Tool X, right? Boom, you can just create it. And our AI will populate this tool now with information. It will find the logo. It will update this. Nothing you need to do or I need to to do it will get the description and we will just review and approve it but this way you can really place out any tools that you're using and you can instantly lay it out while it's even uploading the data so now when i go here to find tools you see here are all the tools that the community already added and that's crazy amazing and you see now here are the core categories as well and when you go for heptabase you see 22 users so that's ranking first currently using heptabase mainly for personal knowledge management. But you see, there are also users using it for task management and business project management. So when we open up now the Heptabase card here, you see even more insights from the community here. You see how many are testing it or looking for an alternative or how many integrated it. And from a total of 18, not everybody has selected all the fields yet. Now we go into secondary category. So if the user adds it to the PKM core category, these are the secondary categories the users are using. They mainly use it for deep thinking, visual thinking, inner world, and even for quick capture and journaling. And then here you see the devices the tool is used for. And this is all based from our community. And you see here from our members, there are even then the pros and cons showing up when they thought about their own use of the tool. It's not a separate platform. And you will see in a moment why this is so deeply integrated in the overall productivity system understanding in a tool agnostic way. So when we go now back to my account, you see also on the side utility apps. Okay. You also see these are apps that are just enhancing workflows. This is for video conferencing and so on. Then you see these on the outside. These are satellite apps. These are tools that cannot work without a core application. And it's as easy as dragging and dropping it on top of another tool and you just click and now you have a satellite app created. And this will stay in control no matter what view you go. It will switch immediately also the views. But this will always give you the general overview here. You even have a public profile. You can decide not to share it, but if you're sharing it, you can share the profile here. And when you share this link, and I will place mine in the description below, you will have access. You can then also play. Even if you're not a user, you are able to access my tool stack and open up the tool here. You can change and hide the connections. All the things, functions are there. And there's the list of all the tools I'm using and what I'm using the tools for. And Paco will build his system too. Here there's a quick information, but you can share your own tool stack the same way. So if you say these are the tools I'm using, feel free to share it. And then after you created a map and this is the way to go. We also have connections between core applications. So let's say you use something like Sansama. That could be a satellite app, right? It's connected to my to do list, to ClickUp, to my Gmail, to my calendar in order to work. However, I'm also using it for my daily routines and my daily weekly planner. That's what I'm doing on Sansama. This means if I remove it, it will hurt my overall planning and that will be ha have a big impact on my business. That's why I placed it here on the core application, but I'm able to
to directly connect it to the others too to show the connection that is going on and when you go here you see i integrated sansama with these core applications and when you go to the community panel again you see most of them are using it as a satellite application and then you see also how people are connecting it to other tools you can even connect like something like raycast i can just drag and drop it over here and make a direct connection so now it appears here on the side and indicates that i'm using raycast with clickup you see how i'm getting an overview but the point is if you have something going on like this, let's pretend these are all PKM tools, you very quickly realize what the heck is going on in my productivity system. I actually have too many tools in my productivity system because if this is all done for personal knowledge management, well, you must have a really good understanding and a very complex situation in your life with so many different types of information that you need individual tools for. So this immediately helps you to realize, man, I'm using too many tools for the same purpose. So let's move them out and let's move them back into the right positions. But this is a deep insight that many members get the moment they lay out the tools just by doing this. But it doesn't stop here because as everything is built up on the business proven iCore methodology, it is connected directly with the concepts and workflows to master your productivity system end to end. What this means is that you have a system check here and maybe you have done our quiz before. This is much more than a quiz. This is a living thing. That's why it's an application for our members as you will be able to keep things on track. You keep updating, you add tools, you remove tools. This will grow over time but so is your system check, your quality, okay? So here I said no to a few things and unsure to a few things just to give you an idea what happens when you do so. Because if you go to the dashboard, this is where you get a quick overview of the tools, your statuses, but also the recommended learning. So based on the tools that you have selected for a specific secondary category, for example, in this case, workflow optimization or here, quick capture, it's directly tied to our ICO concept, jot things down, for example, or here, shallow thinking versus deep thinking. And when I click on this, it will open up the system check. It scrolls to this question that is relevant for this. And now I can read and remind myself what this is all about. I can take notes, how I'm progressing in this area, but I also can simply click and it will open up the relevant lesson in our comprehensive courses to really focus just on the thing that you have still struggled with. You get instant access to the relevant magic slide. You can watch my video. You can read the summary. You can even comment and ask questions to Paco and me in the community that you don't get the point of the difference of shallow thinking and deep thinking. This is all tightly integrated with this application and depending on what tools you use in what area that you laid out here, combined with questions that you still struggle with, you will get the recommendations that are really relevant for you. And this is something that that's not out there. It's the first of this kind to have a comprehensive tool agnostic methodology tied together with your individual tool stack. We are not selling you a template for Notion and telling you how to learn all this. You can lay out your own tools and get the best insights into your tool stack, how to improve your productivity system. And then in the end, you also have the tool stack here where you get the overview of all the tools that you are using. But also here, look at this, there's the pricing. So by entering the pricing in each tool, you now have a perfect overview how much your tool stack is costing you per month. And annually, you see how much the core apps, satellite apps cost, but you also see the core categories. So for business knowledge management, we are spending the most. It makes total sense because Dropbox alone is $100 per month. And this is where you get full control. Last but not least, there are a few things to easily expand on your tools. Let's say I'm looking for TickTick -tick and I'm checking it out. This is confusing, okay? If I have to do this and TickTick -tick there, that's why you can select on TickTick -tick testing and for Todoist I've integrated. So I can now hide the integrated tools with this button here and only show the testing tools. Or I could always only show the alternative tools, right? Needs alternative. So this way I can just hide the testing and now I have my actual tool stack that's going on. This gives you another level of control to play around, to be in sandbox mode and really see what you're actually using on a daily basis. And the same works here too. You see here is tick tick and I can remove this test and now it is disappeared. And this also applies to the pricing. So if I add here pricing, you see the pricing increased. If I hide it, the pricing decreases. Guys, 
This is just the beginning, all right? That's the foundation. That's the launch of the application. It's already available for all our members. The doors are open now and we have thousands of members. So therefore, we see a lot more coming in every day. And when we have a comprehensive database of tools and how our members are using it as professionals, you get a lot more deep insights and we do this already. So if you go here on the side, we have a comprehensive filtering system, okay? Because now we can filter by the tools that people use on a laptop, okay? But also, maybe you're familiar, familiar with this from Amazon, what people who bought this also bought this, okay? That's the same thing here. I can say people who are using Heptabase are also using these tools, okay? And I always can hide the tools that I'm currently having on my tool stack to get really the tools that I'm not having on my tool stack yet. And therefore I get an insight into this. What else could I use? We have also based on our profiles. So we can say the CEO founders, you see people working as a CEO, this is the tools that they are using. And people are of CEOs from companies with one to 10 people, people from CEOs who are in a consulting industry with one to 10 people, those are the tools that they are using. And I obviously can always show the tools that I'm already using who are also using Heptabase. I think you get the point already, how you can narrow down how people are using this. Here you can search by PKM tools and you can narrow down who are placing PKM and PPM. And therefore you can really find the things that you need. And obviously you can also search by just adding the search filter here. This is instantly working all of this. We highly encourage you to check this out because we know for two years we used this iCore framework in a image based version, right? So you were able to download this and add this to your iPad and then make the app logos on top of it to get these insights with our inner circle coaching. That's what we initially always did. Our inner circle members, they laid out their tools on a whiteboard on top of this image, downloading the app logos and so on. And this was so much friction. Now, you just go here, you think about the tools that you're using, and then you just think about where you place them. And once you have it there in place, you get all the insights that you need to make informed decisions, what tool is actually missing and what tool might be redundant. And you're not only getting more clarity in your mind with your own productivity system, but you also will save money. And we have people saving eight hours a week by reducing work about work, just because they are clear now where they place information, where they place their action and everything tied back to our ICO methodology to easily learn exactly what they need in order to become highly productive. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this? And if you're not a member yet and want to check it out, we have a free trial. So come in, play around with the tool, check out our courses. You get free access to everything. And our co-founder Paco and I are both personally inside a membership. We cannot wait to catch you up in there.